This protocol resolves common challenges experienced with sputum processing that have made it difficult in the past to use with flow cytometry for high throughput clinical diagnostic purposes. This protocol is designed to save time by using sputum weight to determine antibody and dye staining volumes. During the staining incubation, cell count can be performed for the downstream steps. It is important to achieve an accurate cell count to determine the correct resuspension volume to prevent any problems when running on the flow cytometer. This protocol can provide insight into areas of research that investigate lung health. For example, illnesses such as COPD, asthma, lung cancer, or the effects of COVID could be studied. Demonstrating the procedure will be Dr. Michael Lai, a research and development scientist from my laboratory. To begin with, weigh the sputum sample to determine the volumes of dissociation reagents. Transfer the sample to the appropriately sized vessel based on the sputum weight. Then, add 1 milliliter per gram of 0.5% NAC and 4 milliliters per gram of 0.1% DTT. Vortex the samples at maximum speed for 15 seconds and rock at maximum speed for 15 minutes at room temperature. Dilute the sample with 4 times Hanks Balanced Salt Solution or HBSS to neutralize the NAC and DTT and after quick vortexing, rock the sample at room temperature for 5 minutes. Filter cell suspension through a 100 micrometer nylon mesh cell strainer into one or more 50 milliliter conical centrifuge tubes to create a single cell suspension. Pellet down the cells. After aspirating the supernatant.